Yo guys, what is up? Crafter here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the second weapon coming to the game with the Russian DLC in the name of the Tsar. Model 1900 is a double barrel shotgun coming into the game in two variants. The factory variant, using the backshot ammunition which is deadly effective up close, and then you have the slug variant of the weapon, allowing you for the longer range kills, but at the trade-off of having only one ammunition per shot, meaning if you're using the slag variant, you actually only shoot one bullet at the time, and if you are using the backshot variant, you're shooting multiple bullets so that you don't have to aim that perfectly. I know that someone will ask me about this in the comments, so I'll just say this right away. If you want to fire from the two barrels at the same time, just press the V button and change the fire mode to the double barrel. It's quite simple. And talking about the assignments required to unlock this gun, if you want to unlock the factory variant, you have to perform 40 kills with the M97 trench guard backboard shotgun and in one round perform 5 kills with the 80 rocket gun. And if you want to unlock the slag variant, you have to perform 50 kills with the 12G automatic extended shotgun and perform 20 kills with the Gasser M1870 pistol. As you see the assignments aren't particularly difficult, it's just about playing the game with the right loadout and that's pretty much it. And talking about the playability and the actual usage of the model 1900, I can honestly tell you that this actually might be the skill canon between shotguns. Because realistically if you want to kill the guy, you have to fire those two shots to have a guarantee one hit kill. Or in this scenario two hit kills, because you have two shots at the same time. So basically after kill, you have to perform a reload animation and it takes time, you can't go Rambo like with Model 10 Hunter just spamming and killing everyone around you, you actually have to wait and think about your moves to not get caught on the reload. I most certainly prefer to use the slag variant of the weapon because of the simple fact that I can fire two slag bullets at the same time and by doing so I have almost 100% chances that I will kill the guy in one hit. And if you're playing Battlefield 1 for quite some time and you've tried slag shotguns in the vanilla game, you know that people sometimes tend to tank the slag shot even from up close and even if it's a chest shot, so... The Model 1900 is a nice addition to the game allowing you to actually guarantee this one-shot kill with the slag ammunition. I'm glad I didn't add another bullshit shotgun like this Jorgen that was introduced to the game with the They Shall Not Pass DLC, which is just spray and pray. It's not a good mechanic. And this one, it actually takes some aiming because once again, if you miss your two shots, you're pretty much dead because you have to reload and the whole animation takes a bit time. And not only that, but there is something about playing with double barrel shotgun in this game like it feels like you are actually in the era and you actually enjoy the World War 1 experience. I don't know if it's just me, of course I'm not saying that I feel like I'm fighting on the war, but it feels nice to have the ability to play with the double barrel during those times, especially on such beautiful maps like the Russian DLC provides. So, a nice addition to the game, not breaking any gameplay aspect whatsoever. Great thing to add dice, good job. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did remember to leave a like, subscribe and as always guys, I see you on the battlefield!